subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest updates. We talk about microplastics in food and water today and is it a really matter of concern? I keep on getting different questions from people that uh, whether uh, the food uh, fruits and vegetables we are consuming today how uh, healthy are they and not only from the perspective of nutrition but also from the contamination and food safety uh, perspective so plastic is a concern of our daily to do daily life and uh, not only for the environment so today we are going to discuss the latest knowledge about microplastic or plastic contamination in our food and water and we'll try to assess that whether these uh, contaminations are actually harmful for human health or uh, it's it's fine to consume uh, you know tiny amount of um, microplastic at least uh, until today i mean we are, we are talking about the present time now our life is plasticized microplastics invaded our air ocean drinking water and food although humans are not at health risk from microplastic contamination yet but some intervention must be in place to avoid any future health hazards now what are the microplastics microplastics are the plastic particle which are sized from 1 nanometer to 5 millimeter that are increasingly contaminating not only our ocean life but also foods and water according to the latest research researchers from the university of newcastle australia and worldwide fund for nature took a closer look to find out what plastic contamination means for human nutrition they find a uh, uh, extensive result by doing a uh, comprehensive review of 52 studies and reported average consumption of plastic fibers which is 0 to 1 mm from common food and beverages like seafood beer salt drinking water can be ranged from 0.1 grams to 5 grams per person per week so the researcher from the university and wwf find that we are consuming Uh, maximum 5 gram of uh, microplastic per week how about microplastic in water all sources of drinking water uh, including ground water surface water tap and bottled water are the largest supplier of microplastic in our daily diet a 2019 wwf report revealed an average person is consuming about 1769 microplastic particle each week this report cited another uh, repeated study that provided an insight on the regional variation of average percentage of tap water sample containing plastic fibers and the number of fibers present per 500 ml of water according to this geographical variation 82.4% of tap water in india found to be contaminated with plastic fiber and the 500 uh, ml water contained four fibers right so each 500 ml water in india were found to have four microplastic fibers results indicated an average person ingesting 5800 plastic particles annually and 88% of which coming from tap water microplastic in foods is also a very very important area of research though it's very uh, nascent at current time but there are couple of research that are making us a bit worried or concerned to take some serious action In recent years a slew of research has added to our understanding of the prevalence distribution and origin of microplastic however the existing state of knowledge doesn't provide a clear picture on how the microplastic contamination works a 2021 study by a group of eminent environmental scientists reported children and adults might be consuming hundreds to more than 10000 microplastic specks per day 
Microplastics were identified in common fruits and vegetables, according to a 2020 study published in Environmental Research. The results revealed apples with the highest microplastic counts of 1,95,000 particles per gram, followed by broccoli and carrots with a count more than 1 lakh particles per gram. Lettuce was least contaminated vegetable among all. Uh, researcher Jard Liberzet and colleagues analyzed 24 German beer brands for the contents of microplastic fibers, fragments, and granular material. Researchers found contaminated contamination in all brands of beer. The results varied widely between individual samples and the date of production. So all the samples of the beer, they, they all had microplastic, but the range of number of fibers varied from sample to sample and also according to the date of production. Now, 19 samples of honey from Germany, France, Italy, Spain, and Mexico were analyzed for non-pollen particles. Colored fibers with a count range from 40 per kg and 660 per kg honey were found in all samples investigated. Authors identified environment as a source of these plastic fibers. This study also included five commercial sugar and found transparent colored fibers and fragment in all of them. So this study from different countries of Europe found microplastic fragment in honey and sugar brands. Now, plastic, plastic polluted oceans produce sea fish and seafoods with higher concentration of microplastic in their respiratory and digestive system. A 2020 study revealed microplastic accumulation in the muscles of marine fishes. A 2015 article reported one third of marine fish sample collected from Makassar, Indonesia and California, USA markets, plastic garbage and textile fibers in their intestines. So as our oceans and our water bodies are uh, highly contaminated with plastic, as we can see the beaches, how they are you know, contaminated with different plastic uh, sources, bottles and uh, packets. So marine fish or the water fish or fish in general or seafood are the uh, foods. Those are mostly contaminated by microplastic uh, fibers. A detailed uh, uh, so, so now we need to understand that whether this microplastic consumption is harmful for human health, right? So now that we know that the evidence is very clear that in our tap water, in food, we have microplastic present, but is this harmful for human health? Long-term effect of plastic consumption on human health is not yet clear, but studies are underway. However, fisheries and aquaculture research have already demonstrated the deleterious effect of plastic consumption. Food and Agriculture Organization of United States reported excess accumulation of microplastic in digestive and respiratory system of marine fishes was associated with higher mortality rate. Uh, another study attempted uh, these are all recent studies. So this study was, is also from 2020. They attempted to study the potential effect of microplastics and additives of concern on human health and suggested the effect of microplastic on human health will depend on multiple factors, including the concentration of the microplastic, chemical properties of the plastic, point of entry or exposure, size or shape of the particle that we are ingesting, uh, and so on. No concrete evidence is available until today that uh, say that uh, human health has harmful uh, implications when they are exposed to the microplastic. Now, in a strategic report, European Food Safety Authority mentioned the digestive tract of marine animals contain the highest amount of microplastic. Uh, 
But this is the, the digestive organ or the digestive system of the marine uh, animals is discarded when we consume. For animals, those are consumed whole, such as you know, a portion of 225 grams of muscles uh, could contain seven micrograms of plastics that might have negligible effect on human health. That is according to the report by European Food Safety and Authority. And EFSA encouraged more research to understand human health implications of mass microplastic contamination. Now, in light of this evidence, what should we do in the year 2021? We know that at this stage, we, we, we don't know whether it would be very harmful for us or not, but there has to be some steps that can reduce our plastic footprint, not only for the environment, but also for the future. Prefer tap water under bottled water. A 2018 research by Sherry Mason and colleagues analyzed microplastic content of bottled water purchased from 19 locations in nine different countries. Others found zero to over 10,000 microplastic particles per liter in all samples. So although we know that uh, drinking water in general contain microplastic, but it's better to have tap water than the bottled water. Never microwave in plastic utensils. Use glass cookware to heat your food. We already know that because when heated, plastic tends to leach to the, to the food. Third point could be store your foods in glass, steel container, wrap in aluminum foil or use plastics. Those are labeled as is recyclable, biodegradable or environment friendly. Eat fresh home cooked meal as much as possible and avoid plastic wrapped foods, which we actually get from the takeaway. Now, the most important part of this entire conversation could be, we need to stay responsible and should not be discarding plastic here and there. Keep your beach clean, whether possible, whenever possible, support your community, your city, state and country to keep your environment clean. Thank you.